Hello, uh, welcome to the Lahi Labs channel and uh, today we'll be talking about the best switch that you can buy for your money and also be able to use it for your CCNA, CCNP studies. This is one of the most affordable switches I found online and I was actually able to buy four of them for my own lab to study for the CCNA and CCNP routing and switching and some security um, certifications. The reason why we're doing this is because, um, just like everybody knows, experience is the best compared to a certification. You can have a certification all you want, you can be CCNP certified. If you've never configured a real switch in, in real life, it doesn't help. It will show during the interviews and you actually won't do it as, as well. So that's why if you're just starting out or just getting your CCNP, you will probably want to take a look at this switch. And this is a Cisco Catalyst 3750. Um, 24 port switch. I wouldn't go for the 48 port because it gets a little expensive, but the regular Catalyst 24 port switch 3750 is the best switch that I've so far from my own experience uh, seen that's also very affordable. Um, there are a few uh, things that you need to know about this Catalyst switch. I was able to, uh, for my own uh, lab, buy some stack cables and stack this switch in my own home lab. I actually use them right now, once in a while. This is what a stack looks like. This, this is the stack cables. This is a great feature because uh, during the CCNP studies, you actually have to learn how to configure a stack and being able to do that in your own lab is amazing. This switch uh, is very cheap. I was able to get four of them for about $80. As you can see here, if I go on Facebook Marketplace, Right now, today, someone is selling this switch they just posted it six days ago for $30. I can message this person and offer them 20 to see if they will take that or even just pay them $30 if I wanted to just one. But you can say I'm buying six of these, they'll probably give you a better deal. If you go on places like eBay, you find that the same switch with 48 ports gets to be expensive. For your CCNA, CCNP, you don't need 48 ports, you only need 24 ports. And if you just buy a couple of the 24 ports and use a stack, you actually just double. You now have uh, a lot of ports for your lab, which from my experience, you don't need. So you can look on eBay, see what that same switch would cost you if it's a 24 port. But um, look on Craigslist, I actually did a search just to see what this particular switch is. This person is a lot of them, and they only want $35. This switch is enough for your uh, CCNP, CCNA routing switching. I was able to actually do a lot of things, including quality of service, which I actually didn't uh, think it was possible with this chip switch. I was able to do a spanning tree, just like everybody else. You actually enjoy a lot of spanning tree uh, with this particular switch. It also does uh, ether channels, which are my favorite. So. When you get a chance, just check out the Cisco 3750. Don't be uh, confused about which switch to buy. I believe this is the best switch. And if you look around, you can get four of these for under $100, which uh, in my own opinion, if you're going for a CCNP, is a way better experience. So I just got my CCNP this month. And I uh, just wanted to share with you guys what I used. And this is the switch that I had for my switching environment. And I think it's great. So um. If you want more tips on your CCNP studies, I'll be posting more videos about the resources that I've done or used and my strategy, my study strategies. So just remember to subscribe to this channel and in a few days or a few hours, if I get some time, you'll be seeing more tips on how to best practice for your CCNP so that you don't just get the paper and be CCNP on paper, but you're also certified and you also know your things. So when you show up for an interview, or when you have a real issue at work, you know, just this paper CCNP because right now the internet is just plagued with people dump doing uh, dumps and just passing the exam. It's more than that. You need to be able to actually configure this equipment. That's why I'm showing you the best switch for your money that I think you will be able to actually afford because I understand not everybody can do that. So remember to subscribe for more uh, CCNP, CCNA tips and uh, I'll be posting more videos.